That was pretty spectacular. Thanks, man. Thanks, thank you. Did you guys like that? Yeah. Cool. Thanks for being here, guys. This is uh, Ian and Dustin, the Meadows brothers from Chester, Connecticut. And uh, as I said earlier, we've been trying to get these guys down here for a long time, and it is it's special. Thank you for doing this. Yeah, thank, thank you for having us. Thank you. I'm Rick Coster for the day's live lunch break, and we are streaming at theday.com. So just in case you can't make it, remember we always archive these things at theday.com slash live lunch. And that way, Ian and Dustin can go home this afternoon and just watch themselves over and over again. That's what we do, you know. <laughs> we can learn our lyrics. <laughs> cool to learn our lyrics. Oh, so that's what it was. Huh? I think... I think you're being far too uh, self-critical on that. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of precedence in that. But um, the first thing I want to ask you all is uh, when I was younger and, and, and music first started to resonate with me, it, it was the era when there was Don and Phil Everly and then Brian and Carl and Dennis Wilson of the Beach Boys mm -hmm. and, and the way they sang harmonies. And then I, I took like biology in high school and I learned about genetics. And I thought, oh, there's a reason these guys can harmonize so well. So I went to my big brother and I said, you know what? We should probably be able to sing great. And then it sounded like someone stepping on a chicken's throat. So that, that blew that part of it. But at what point did you guys realize we can really sing well together? I know you picked up the guitar first, Ian, before, it, maybe before you were thinking about music, Dustin. But... Did it occur to you, we probably have this DNA thing going on? I don't, you know, it, it never really did occur to us. I think we just, you know, we grew up listening to a lot of music and loving music. And uh, so we, you know, we started just messing around, making noises together, you know, I mean, on various things around the house, I guess. But, uh, but I don't really know. I don't know if there was ever a point that, I mean, you know, I think everything, it, it, it starts off really bad. You know, I think we sounded like yeah. really bad until like last week. Well, you week. know, oh well. <laughs> and then last week, it, no, I, I, it, I think it was just like from well, doing it so much. Yeah, we started we started off playing playing in like a rock and roll band with some friends in, in elementary school, and then you were in middle school. No, uh, so we were young, yeah. and uh, and I was a drummer, and Ian played guitar, and we had another guitar player, and uh, we'd play, you know, Jimi Hendrix and Rolling Stones and and all that kind of stuff, and. Uh, and so for those harmonies, you know, on some of those songs, we just ended up working stuff out. You know, it was never like, whoa, like, we're singing harmonies. It was just... Yeah, it's like, well, someone's got to sing back up, you know. And then, and then when we transition into this... Yeah, we focus on it a lot more. I think uh, when you referenced, Dustin, that even as kids you were playing Hendrix and, and the Stones, I think that probably... Uh, indicates that you grew up in a very musical household where you heard a lot of different kinds of music going on. Definitely, yeah. Um, at what point did you sort of gravitate in, I would almost call this folk blues. I hope I wouldn't be wrong yeah, totally. about that. Yeah, that's what it, yeah. Um, what was it about those that kind of music or artists in particular that resonated with the two of you? Well, I think, it, you know, between our parents, it's like um, there was just so much music happening so or, or so much music being played from heavy metal to hip-hop um and like and everything of, in between yeah except the one thing that didn't really happen a lot was a lot of this music so i think it was like it's kind of you know when when you're going through your preteen music phase and you're like you know all angsty and everything like that it's like well you know do I listen to death metal? It's like, well, my dad listens to a lot of metal, so like we couldn't really go that route. So it was like, well, Hank, they don't listen to Hank Williams Sr., you know? So that, we'll start listening said, to 100-year-old country music, and, and my parents would be like, what are you listening that to? That was your rebellion. Huh? No, yeah, but that well, being said, we got turned on to Gillian Welch through our mom. Yeah, but I'm talking about the old, the old music. Yeah, the old stuff. Okay, to, fair enough. And, and, we, and we did hear a lot of, like, um, through, through my mom, like a lot of 70s, um, kind of Laurel Canyon stuff, Jackson Brown and sure. Cross Hills and Nash and Neil Young and all that music we did get from them. But at least in, in terms of the history, that was all just like, I was probably 14 years old and, and just got really into um, early bluegrass and country music and old time music and blues. And that was just like my thing at the time. And then he kind of rejected it for a long time and finally came around. As I know. should, you yeah, know, yeah. being the little brother and all. Yeah, yeah. 
I got to let it time to sink in and give him some crap about it. Uh, we were talking with Ian and Dustin Meadows, the Meadows brothers, and thank you guys. It was a really nice turnout on a beautiful spring day. Y'all could all be out doing something else, but uh, I think the the lure of the Meadows brothers is pretty significant. So um, I was watching the first set, and, and you talked about delving back into uh, a lot of years of, of hardcore country or folk. Your f- finger picking plus plectrum style, again, I'm going to come back to it, reminds me of blues artists. And the way you play the harp absolutely is, to me, is more Junior Wells, Brownie McGee than it is any folk. Is that, am I right or am I yeah, imagining Yeah, this? I mean, we're, we're we, that's, that's kind of been, um, you know, incorporating the blues influence into kind of the, the singer-songwriter thing. I mean, we just, we love blues and rock and roll, you know, and so we try and make that come across and with an acoustic guitar on yeah. harmonica. And so you incorporate that, and then you've got the narrative element of the stories that you would accept, uh, expect from Falker. It's a beautiful blend. I think it's it's very uh, thank you. It's unique and, and good for you. Now, you played a couple of new songs. Tell us a little bit about the catalog that you have and how people can get it and yeah. what's coming up. Well, um, we we put out a record uh, last year um, in in June about about a year ago, um, which was just this one right here. It's called "Won't Be Troubled." Um, and Dustin, of course, because he had just woken up, forgot them all at home. So uh, we don't have any with us today, but uh, they're, they're available all over the Internet. I can't even keep track Spotify, of Spotify, you but know, we can, we, you can you give know, us our... Spotify. Dude. Yeah, but yes. or you can give us our, your address on Bandcamp. We can mail one to you. Or yes. you can, you know, iTunes, whatever your preferred yeah. music source is. Um, it's there, I think. But Spotify, spot, you can listen to on Spotify. Huh? They can listen to it on Spotify. Okay, whatever, man. Let's, <laughs> let's not get into that right now. Philosophical discussion. Jeez. But uh, but yeah. So and then our website is meadowsbrothers.com. Uh-huh. And that's that's where the source for for all things are. Are you guys uh, in the studio now, working on the the studio? The we're, we're, oh, we're I, kind of in we're kind of in pre-production, I guess you'd say, yeah, of, of a, another record. And I think we're just going to do it all ourselves, which will be kind of an experience. Um, but I, I think that's the plan right now. Well, technology is yeah. such that you can do a really yeah, good sound, exactly. right? Yeah, exactly. so we're we're excited about that. We got a lot of new songs that we're looking forward to recording. The one that you played, uh, they closed the first set with, was called Truth, and I was just blown away by what old guys like me would call the middle eight or the break in the song, where you took me somewhere completely where I didn't expect to go. Almost uh, a, a minor chord pop mm-hmm. type thing. Yeah. That was tremendous. Oh, cool, Where'd man. Where'd that I, come from? Well, that was just, you know, I wanted to, you know, it's kind of a straight ahead uh, rock tune, more or yeah, less, you yeah. know, and I just wanted to do something unexpected. And uh, in, in that kind of lyrical theme, you know, I was hearing that, that sort of like that break where it just kind of switches moods almost and then brings you back very much the, so. the rock thing. That was very cool. But thank you. Now the best thing about live lunch break is that at a certain point I shut up and I let the musicians play again and I think that would probably be the best direction to go in now. So I'm glad you guys stuck around and this is the Meadows Brother. Hey, thanks for asking us some questions. Yeah man we, we don't we don't get a whole lot of questions usually you know. Those were all nice. Those, those, those yeah. good questions. Yeah. Um, what are we going to play? Let's do letters. Yeah, this is this is another another new one. Um, that is actually kind of new. I, I wrote it. This is one of those songs that got written uh, probably a couple of years ago, and we just never did anything with it, and then kind of revived it recently and, and started playing it. Uh, all right, yeah, I gotta get this on anyways. So thanks again for being here, guys. It's really nice to, to be here in New London at the Telegraph, and uh, I think. Next time we're, we're up here, I think we actually got to get our CDs in here. Is, is that would that be okay? Instead of instead of going online, we wanna we wanna get them here. I just wasn't thinking. So we'll we'll bring some up. And uh, 